Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to look at Psalm 102. Psalm 102. Follow along with me in your Bible. This is a lengthier song, so stay with me, but follow along with, your, with me in your Bible as I read. A prayer of the afflicted when he is faint and pours out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me quickly. For my days have been consumed in smoke and my bones have been scorched like hearth. My heart has been smitten like grass and withered away. Indeed, I forget to eat my bread. Because of the loudness of my groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I resemble a pelican of the wilderness. I have become like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I have become like a lonely bird on a housetop. My enemies have reproached me all day long. They who deride me have used my name as a curse. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away. My days are a lengthened shadow, and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, abide forever, and your name to all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious to her, for the appointed time has come. Surely your servant finds pleasure in her stones, and feel pity for her dust. So the nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord has built up Zion. He has appeared in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the destitute, and has not despised their prayer. This will be written from gener for the generation to come, that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looks down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord gazed upon the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to set free those who were doomed to death, that men may tell of the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he has weakened my strength in this way. He has shortened my days. I say, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, and all of them will wear out like a garment. Like clothing you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. This psalm, as it says in the superscription, is a prayer of the afflicted. And notice there is much for us to glean in times of affliction from this great psalm. First, I want you to notice that the psalmist begins by affirming his trust in Yahweh, in the Lord, in his covenant God. He does that by appealing to him from the very beginning and all throughout this psalm. Notice that he also expresses his needs compassionately. He is honest with the Lord about his groanings and about the extreme nature of his groanings. But notice, friends, that he lifts his eyes beyond his groaning to see the Lord and to see how the Lord might be using this. As you read this and that turn comes in verse 12, but you, O Lord, abide forever. It's as if he's writing this psalm and he just gazes upward and is reminded of the truth of the Lord. Friends, what a great comfort that is when we are in times of affliction to look beyond ourselves, to look ultimately to the glory of God and to look as he does in this psalm at how the Lord might use even his affliction to be a testimony to others. That's looking beyond himself. And all throughout this, he's reaffirming his grace or his faith, rather, in the grace of God. It is God that will not only protect and preserve and save him, but establish his children and grandchildren. Friends, this is a great play, prayer for time of affliction. So let me encourage you as you think about how you might pray on, on this psalm, pray through this psalm. If you are facing affliction right now, pray through this psalm. 
read each verse and think about the truth that it reveals and pray unto the Lord as you do so. And if you're not facing affliction currently, let me encourage you to pray that the Lord would give you such deep faith that this would be your response in times of affliction. What a great psalm this is, friends. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.